Okay, I've only heard like the first 30 seconds of this one, but I just know it's gonna be awesome just from what I heard. So here we go. Elvis, Elvis Duran, the Elvis Duran phone tab. All right, Brody, it's all yours. Well, we got an email suggestion from Lucy. Lucy's a single mom of a five-year-old daughter, and she hired entertainment for her daughter's birthday party. But her dad, grandpa, he's paying for it. So she wanted the entertainment for the party to call him to go over what he'll be doing at the party. I am the entertainer, the Magnificent Murray. Oh, so we we're revisiting the Magnificent Murray. Somebody requested it. It worked out. Here oh, it is. I love the Magnificent Murray. You will too. In today's Dave Brody phone tab. Hello. Uh, hi, I'm looking for James. This is James. Hi, James. My name is the Magnificent Murray. Did your daughter uh, tell you I was calling? Yes, Murray, she did. Um... So uh, I'm supposed to go over the uh, the uh, magic show with you here. Right, right. Listen, I have a bunch of things that work really well at these kind of parties, and uh, you can pick and choose. I'll give you a bunch to choose from, and you just tell me yes or no. So the first trick, the kids absolutely love this. It's called Fan of Magic, okay? I have a magic wand, and I have a, a little um, circulating fan. And as the fan is spinning, I tell the kids now, Fan of Magic. And then what I do is... I try to stop the blade of the fan with my tongue, but I make it appear like it cut my tongue off, right? So then the blood is squirting, but I don't. I give the kids a poncho, and my the piece of my tongue appears to fly off into where the kids are sitting. These are, uh, are five-year-old kids. Right? Yeah, yeah, they love that. Kids love that. So what happens is the tongue flies off, right? And then I say, whoever finds the tongue gets a prize. And then they all go looking for the piece of tongue, and whoever finds it, I give them like a special treat. What do you think? This is quick. You can't do that. That that one's too. That's a little too much. All right, all right. Well, don't, don't say no to blood so quick, because I have another bit here. I think you're gonna love. It's called cock and bag. No. I take a, a rooster and I put it in a bag and I tie the top of the bag up and I take a little a little toy axe, right? And I cut my cock in half oh. and then his feathers no, flying no, no, everywhere no. I just, and and uh, I can get rid of the blood, but this is completely this, unacceptable. This is completely unacceptable. You do this for kids? Have you ever done this show before for five-year-old kids? Kids love cock and bag. I usually is, finish with that. This is five-year-old girls. They think that the rooster is dead, right? And then I say, "No, no rooster." This is and I say, "Do you guys want to see the cock again?" Because they all want it to come back to life. They go, "Oh!" And I everybody go, no, no, "We no, no, want no, no. the cock." No, we, no, no. Why? That's What's just, wrong with that? Are you kidding me? Are you ridiculous? No, that's five-year-old kids. I want my refund. Uh, look, I'll uh, give you four tricks for the price me, of three. You're giving me irritable bowel syndrome. You're not coming here with any chickens and any bloody animals. I want. A refund of the money, and I'm going to get a real magician to come here. Okay, I'm a real magician, sir. I'm the magnificent man. No, where's your magic? You have no rings. You've got no balloons. You've got no hats. You've got nothing. I, I, I guess Guess Your Panties is out, where I get all the girls to, like, five volunteers. And I tell them what color their panties are. Do you have a license? Do you have a license? I, but listen, I mean, I'm Magnificent Murray. I've been doing this for 25 years. I've got a medical condition, and you're stressing me out, and I want my refund. We're not doing none of that stuff. Seriously? No, no, I'm serious. All right. That's not happening at my granddaughter's party let me come there i'll do cock and bag and you'll see no no no, 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 no. you're not doing any balls around my granddaughter i want my refund it's cock and bag it's a big difference this is a rooster in a black velvet bag that's all it is <laughs> hello <laughs> lucy hi <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. You're so adorable. all right he's probably gonna be calling you any second <laughs> okay yeah all right can you conference me in uh yeah hang on a second Unbelievable. That guy is not coming to your party. That guy is not coming to see Angelina. He's not coming at all. I don't know where the f you got this guy, but he's crazy. Wait, Dad, what? Oh, the magician? Did you call yeah. him? Yeah, he's, he's got t t tricks like where he beats up a chicken, and he's got a thing where he cuts off his tongue. He's got no tricks. He's oh, got no Dad, roots. stop it. He's got you're no sad. hands. He's got no bunnies. He's got nothing. Dad, Dad, you're, I think you're overreacting. He sounds so... I'm not overreacting. Half of his tricks, I've got blood squirting out of him, and the kids running around trying to find his tongue. God, don't be so old school. This is like, you know, kid parties are different than they were when I was a kid. I know that. No, they don't play with tongues. Lucy, Lucy, come on, seriously. You, you, you didn't hear this guy. I found on Craigslist. He seemed legitimate. There were some good reviews that were he posted on there. And I think you're overreacting. It's fine. He had this thing about panties. He had something. I don't even know what it was. All I heard was panties. Dad, I promised you to lead a magician. What, you have two days. He has a trick with the fan where he cuts off his tongue and it goes flying around and the kids go try and find the tongue. There's no reward for the trick. There's no big surprise. The kids are running around trying to find his oh, tongue. Oh, Dad, you know That's what I'm all really good. He had another one called Cock in a Bag. And he takes a, a rooster or a chicken, and he puts it in a bag, and then he hits it with a with a, um, a, a, a hatchet. 
Yeah, I'm sure it's fake. Come on. These kids see all this. They're filming this up. For, that's not for Angelina. That's not for Angelina. Come on, Lucy. What are you talking about? Angelina's going to love it. Her friends are coming. It's in two days. There's no Please. other opportunity. Lucy, we can't have some guy coming to the party wanting to find out where the kids are wearing for underwear. James? It's the Magnificent Murray again. I, I imagine you broke into the phone line. <laughs> James, this is uh, Dave Brody from Elvis Strand in the Morning Show. You're being phone tapped by your daughter. So. <laughs> I love you, Matt. It's just a radio prank. No, sir. no, no. You're a <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. You're kidding me. No, there's no no cutting off tongues. No, I would never do that. I was like, this has got to be some joke. Elvis <laughs> Duran phone tap. I would love the Magnificent Murray at my next party. Oh, my goodness. Excellent job, Brody. This phone tap was pre-recorded with permission granted by all participants. Elvis Duran and the Morning Show phone taps. Bringing families together while tearing their homes apart. Wow, that was tasteless, man. But it was awesome. Thanks for watching.